Hello right, lads and welcome back to another video. In this one, as you've saw by the thumbnail of the title, covering who I think will be promoted, relegated, blah blah blah, from League 1 and League 2 this season. And that is indeed this video. So, we're going to go over it, see what I think, and see if you agree with me in the comments below. Let me know in the comments who you think will be promoted and relegated for League 1 and League 2 this season, involving automatic promotion and the playoffs, etc, etc. And you can also involve the Lowland League, Highland League stuff, because obviously a team is got the potential to get relegated for League 2 and one of those Highland Lowland League teams can come up so include it all in your comment and we can get a wee chat going in the comments below. But without further ado let's get into it. It's an interesting one because there is decent teams within each league this season and I think there's going to be pretty obvious teams that I'm going to come out with in this video to get promoted etc. The relegated teams are a wee bit of a stickler for me. I was kind of struggling a bit to pick which teams I was going to plump for to get relegated but I've come to a decision, so let's get into it. First up, we'll go for League 2, since it's probably the less exciting of them, because I know I do have a lot of Falkirk and Patrick Thistle fans on this channel watching right now, probably. Hello, lads. So we'll start off with League 2, and promoted out of League 2, I'm expecting to see Queen's Park not romp the league, but at least win it by a decent amount of points, because the squad they've built is just ridiculous for League 2. They've gone full-time, and they've just absolutely rinsed the bank account to get the best signings available to them. And fair play to Ray McKinnon, he's brought in players that he knows have played with him before and are going to do a job at that level. It's not exactly the greatest scouting network that he's got going on in the world, but it's going to do the job for League 2, isn't it? I mean, a strike force of Bob McHugh and Simon Murray would be great for Scottish Championship teams, like, definitely. So, that, having that in League 2 is going to get you a barload of goals, and... I'm really surprised that the calibre of player has went and joined Queen's Park like the half. You've got players like Peter Grant down there. You've got Louis Longridge down there. I'm right in saying that, eh? Louis Longridge. Well, I mean, he's not the greatest player, but League 2, come on, man. As I said, the aforementioned Simon Murray and Bob McHugh. He's got Tommy Robson for Falkirk, who, <laughs> that is his level. I, I don't like that player. But overall, McKinnon's got a good squad going. Now, Ray McKinnon isn't exactly the most likeable character, but I can safely say that I think his team's going to get promoted out of Scottish League 2 this season. All credit to him, and all credit to the club for having that ambition to want to go up the leagues. I'm assuming they're wanting to get up in, in at least the championship within the next few years, and I think this season will be the first step into getting themselves up into League 1 and having a real go in the coming seasons into getting up the leagues even further. So the next team to get promoted, and that means obviously a team coming down from League 1 in the promotion playoffs. I'm going to have Edinburgh City coming up into League 1, joining Queen's Park. Edinburgh City have had a few seasons now where they've been really knocking on the door of League 1, and they've never really gotten there. Obviously they got blocked last season from Cove Rangers being promoted. The season before that it was Peter Head. And I just think it's Edinburgh City's time. They've still got a very decent squad. They've still got Blair Henderson on the books. They've still got Liam Henderson on the books. Alan Smith, Mark Laird, players like that. Just players that have done a really good job for them in recent seasons. I just think it's their time to finally get up into League One and prove their worth up there as well. And then, relegated from League Two, I'm going to have Albion Rovers this time round. The obvious choice would have been to pick Brecon again, but they have made substantial signings this summer and I do think that if they're going to have any chance of getting out of the rut that Brecon have been in for the last three or four seasons, it has to be this season when they've made such drastic changes to their squad that seem to have brought in decent enough quality throughout. They've signed a couple of Dunfermline youngsters as well and I hope these boys can do well, whether they were released to the club at the end of last season or they've joined them on loan. I hope they can do Brecon well because I really like them as a club and I really don't want to see them slip out of the SPFL. Nothing against Albion Rovers, I just think that there's going to be one team that's going to slip out and Albion Rovers have been down there for the last few seasons and they always kind of have been fighting that area so I think it's maybe their time to slip out and obviously I'm saying they're going to get relegated, that means that one of the Highland or Lowland League teams is going to get promoted into the SPFL and I'm going to back Kelty Hearts to fill that void. So now we'll go up into the juicy part of things and we'll talk about League One. And I'll talk about the relegated teams first. I will leave the Falkirk Patrick Thistle chat for just that wee bit later in the video. Cheers for watching, lads. So, relegated out of Scottish League One, I'm going to have Peterhead and Dumbarton. Now, the reason why I'm not going into it being ones in the promotion playoffs and ones automatically relegated because I just simply 
can't really decide if I'm being quite honest. Like it's just not one that's going to be massively different in my opinion. I think those two teams are probably the least attractive in the league and ones that don't have the best players on the books. Peterhead obviously no longer without a player like Rory McAllister and they don't really have a hell of a lot outside of that. Dumbarton are obviously in this chat as well. Again, they just don't have a hell of a lot about them, in my opinion, anyway. And I may be well wrong. I may be well wrong in this. And it may be none of these teams that are involved in the relegation places at the end of the season. But you've come here on the channel into this video for my opinion. And um, that's my opinion. Like it or lump it. And now, into the bit you've all been waiting for, the bit that I've been building up to in this video. Is it going to be Falkirk or Patrick Thistle to get automatic promotion? Now, I did actually say in my Championship Predictions video that there was going to be a team that was involved in the relegation playoff place, and that was indeed Aloha Athletic. So, whatever team misses out on automatic promotion from League One in my predictions here, you're going to be facing Aloha Athletic, according to me, in the promotion playoffs at the end of the season. And you'll come out on top, according to these, because I'm saying that both Falkirk and Patrick Thistle will get promoted. And I don't think there's really any people that would massively go against that, because they've got fantastic squads for League One, and they should be good enough for that level. And then if there's a team not really performing in the Championship, then there is no reason why a team at the top of League One couldn't challenge them over the course of two legs, obviously. But I do have, unfortunately, for my sins, Falkirk finishing in top place and I'm only saying that because they have had a very good start to pre-season they've recruited well and they already had a decent squad anyway for League One level they proved it last season they were only one point off for promotion and obviously due to the circumstances were pretty unlucky not to get promoted although it was a tad bit funny to see the reactions online at the time I sympathise slightly but I have you getting automatically promoted this time round so I'm sure you can make do with my laughter at the time. I'm sure you would have done the same if Dom Fellman were in that situation. So yes, it's Falkirk getting automatically promoted and then Patrick Russell will be involved in the promotion playoffs in my opinion and get promoted from them and going by my predictions as I said, at the expense of Aloha Athletic. I'll be sad to see the Wasps go from the Championship if it goes my way in the predictions. However, Patrick have got a good squad, really good squad and They'll probably just miss out on the automatics and I think their squad will be good enough to just get that promotion place sealed, signed and delivered and then really they need to look at building to get back into the Premiership within the next three or four years because it's been a shambles for them in the last three years pretty much. But that's it for this video guys, cheers for watching. Again, you can get involved in the comments, saying all your predictions for this season in the lower leagues. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a like, comment below. As I said, I'll get involved and subscribe for more of this type of content. And until the next video, I'll see you then. Cheers guys.